yes, we're here to talk about business. Yeah, we're here to talk about different topics. But I don't want to miss connecting with you guys. I feel like that's the most important thing that we can do today. My parents couldn't afford haircuts every week. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I, I don't have the Cinderella story to tell you that everything was just peaches and cream. Like, don't let the the clothes and the image fool you because my story don't look like this. You get what I'm saying? Right. And since we are the man, yeah. right, and since we leading by example, right. it starts right. with us. Because right. who else gonna do it? Nobody. Who else gonna do it? And it's not gonna be running your mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be through your action. A lot of black men, you know, think we can't be emotion emotionally expressive. Right. I'm I'm here to say I'm here to say it's cool to cry, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's cool to call your brother up and, and vent. Who you are? Do you know who you are? What is your target? What are you building? What is your brand? Who do you who do people identify you as? Uh, what is your marketing? How do you market yourself? What do you think? So a man thinks, so is he. So we believe that the pillar of success, we tie to how much money that we have in our bank accounts. Mm -hmm. And then we start to see ourselves mentally and physically become slaves, you know, to a lot of the things that we do. Go back three, four months and see how much you spent on eating out, man. It'll change your life. Mm -hmm. It'll change your whole mentality. Like, oh my gosh, I gotta do better. Like, I'm spending 800 a month on fast food. <laughs> wow. What? Whatever is best for you, do that. But understand, what credit is and understand the game of credit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm the type of person I could take one or two suits, my gray, my blue, my black, and I can rotate that thing out so many times, different shirts, different ties, even if I want to wear a tie, add a vest to it, take the jacket away, and give them a whole different vibe from just those basic suits. You know what I mean? That's how I got started. So you're gonna give yourself the bare minimum. Yeah. But you're gonna give somebody else more than you would offer yourself. That's something wrong it's in that it's system. Wrong with you. That's something wrong. <laughs> we want to pass down these things to our kids, right? We want to be able to pass down these things to our significant others, our wives, our mate. We want to be able to tell mama, right. let's go to this school class. Let's, right. yeah. let's get in that Zumba class. Yeah. Come on, let's get active. Man, my mama was not supposed to survive that stroke. Mm. Mm. Man. Man, when I tell you my mental, I had to take, I had to take three months off from work. Yeah to make sure I was okay mentally. If you haven't been in a situation, how can you tell somebody else? Exactly. Mm. Exactly. If you've never experienced hurt, how can you tell somebody how to overcome hurt? Mm. If you've never been broke, how can you tell somebody it's gonna be okay? So for me, I'm all about cash flow. What, 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 if I borrow someone's money and I'm gonna pay them interest or whatever, how can I increase my cash flow? Well, I can buy a rental property for 300K. Mm. It's going up in value and I put a tenant in it so I'm getting passive income from the, the renter too. So I'm winning, I'm winning double. My home is appreciated in value, and I'm getting a, a passive cash flow. Then it's in an LLC, so I'm writing all that off, I'm not paying taxes on it. Right. And now it's out there, somebody see me, somebody watching me, yeah. and they hear and tell them what it's doing for them. Right. And, they, and they don't even know what I'm going through. They're gonna see you. Yeah. Why would you cheat yourself? Yeah. And that's the first image that people are going to get. They may not know your name, they don't know if your breath smells good or not, but they're going to see they what you see look you. like. Yeah. They say how you do one thing is how you do everything. What yeah. you do in the gym, how you work out in the gym, yeah. it usually transitions yeah. on the outside. I want y'all to know it's okay to seek mental health. Yeah. We got brothers hurting. Hurt. We got brothers hurting. Yeah. We got brothers scared. We always talking about the system. We always talking about, you know, how we're trying to earn a seat at the table yeah. and you got to, you know, placate, you got to assimilate, you got to, you know, do all these different things just to get people to listen to you and see your value. You better say it. You can't surround yourself with chickens and you an eagle. <laughs> <laughs> Either you're going to soar or you're not going to soar. Mm -hmm. Either you're going to stay on the ground are you going to so higher than where you ever been before? If I borrow someone's money and I'm going to pay them interest or whatever, how can I increase my cash flow? Well, I can buy a rental property for 300 k mm -hmm. It's going up in value and I put a tenant in it, so I'm getting passive income from the, the renter too. So I'm winning, I'm winning double. My home is appreciated value and I'm getting a, a passive cash flow. Then it's in an LLC, so I'm writing all that off, I'm not paying taxes on it. Right. 
Mm. We shouldn't be categorizing life as good or bad. Those are experiences that you should just look at them as just that. As above, so below. It's two sides to everything. All you have to do is become aware of the other side and get there. Yeah. It's gonna be you going to the gym every day. It's gonna be you getting in the kitchen yep. every day, right? It's gonna be those things and once they see that, not just for a little bit, right. once they see that consistency, Why? Yeah. then they'll start to Why? emulate yeah. that. So society has placed this on men where we, we gotta get hit with life we got to get hit with these Mike Tyson punches right, yeah. and just keep on going. Right, right. On and when we fall, you know, it's, it's like get your ass up, keep yeah. on going. And so I think a lot of that is rooted in purpose and understanding why you are here on this earth and how you're going to use your talents and gifts to really get out and touch other people's lives and reach out and help other people understand what their identities are and what they should be rooted in so that they can go do the same thing for other people. Every place doesn't carry your same frequency. Mm -hmm. Every person doesn't carry your same mindset. Mm -hmm. You have to surround yourself with people with the same mindset as you. You see the game? Mm -hmm. That's what these people do. The rich folks, mm -hmm. yep. they get the real estate, and they get all these tax write offs. Run up, ain't no taxes, man. Mm -hmm. That's the game, man. I feel that I am a strong, disciplined Christian man who cares about loving himself and others. Okay. I feel like I'm a boy, so I'm a representative. Okay. Um, I'm a child of God and I'm a healer. I feel like I'm an influencer, a motivator. Man, I'm, I'm a vibe, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a lot of things. Yeah, yeah I'm a vibe. Easy. An example. Mm -hmm. I like that. I'm what cool. to be and what not to be. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all right. Right. For my little brother, for my community, you know, like-minded individuals. I'm a, I'm a god fan, man. Um, I just like the calm storm, really. I like self-control, but uh, I like to not leave some place. I like to leave a change, more nourishment wow. when I mm -hmm. left. So in order to make me who I am and be effective, mm -hmm. I gotta have some type of identity of who I say I am. That's right. I gotta take off what mama said, I gotta take off what grandma said, I gotta take off what my friends say, my siblings say, school teachers say, and I gotta find me.